What should you do if your ex says there's absolutely no chance of getting back together with him or her? How's it going guys? Brad Browning here with another breakup video. And in this particular YouTube video, I'm gonna to respond to a question that a lot of you seem to have, and that is what to do when your ex says that you have absolutely no chance of ever getting back together. Now, if you are watching this video right now, then I'm gonna assume that you have every intention of getting back together with your ex. And of course, I know how difficult it is to hear when your ex says this to you, uh, but if you do not want to make the situation any worse, then you really have to listen to every word I'm going to say in this video. And I say this because I know that you're probably not going to like it. When your ex says that there's no chance of getting back together, your best strategy is to believe them 100%. Now, even if you do want to get back together with him or her, the best strategy moving forward is to move on with your life, date other people, and do everything in your power to make sure that you're working on yourself. Now, before you close this video and discount everything that I've just said, Keep in mind that there's always a chance that you could conceivably get your ex back. But I must say, you know, if your ex has said that there is no chance, then the chances of you getting back together with him or her is relatively slim. In fact, in most situations like this, I almost always recommend that you should be moving on with your own life anyways. It isn't just, it is just isn't worth the effort to, to try and win back your ex over and over again when they're in such a stubborn position. However, it is indeed possible, even though it's fairly unlikely. Now, first of all, I do want to say that at this point, you probably have messed up big time. If you are watching this video right now, then you've probably done or said things that have forced your ex to say that there's no chance of ever getting back together. Now, your ex probably wouldn't have said that after a more, you know, standard breakup. Uh, instead, that, that kind of indicates that you probably did something really terrible, whether you know it or not, uh, to merit that kind of response from your ex, or you committed the cardinal sin of begging and pleading right after your breakup. Now, if you have watched any of my videos in the past, then you'll know that begging and pleading is an absolute attraction killer. And the more that you beg and plead, the less likely you are to get back together with your ex. Now, I know this sounds insanely counterintuitive. You know, after all, how are you supposed to get back together with your ex if you don't even try to, to actually communicate with him or her? Well, when you beg and plead for something or someone, you're basically saying, there's nothing of value that I can give you. I'm pathetic and I need this, so please just give it up to me. Now, nobody in their right mind is going to respond well to that sort of behavior. I mean, if you put yourself in the position of your ex, would you take someone back who's that desperate? If you're being honest with yourself, then the answer to that question is probably hell no. So what you need to do if you want to have any chance of a happy life in the future and a second chance with your ex is to absolutely forget about your ex and move on. And the faster you can do that, the better off you're going to be. So here are some quick fire tips that you can do right now to sort of expedite this process. Number one, you know, go to the gym and focus on your, your fitness. Uh, looking good is not only going to help reattract your ex, but it's also going to make you more attracted to other singles as well. Number two, eat well. You know, there's no better time to focus on your own health than right now. You'll look and feel better for it. Number three, and this one's really important, hang out with friends and family. Now's a great time to reconnect with people that you've spent little time with since your last relationship. Uh, and building social connections is incredibly important right now. And another important one here, number four, is to meet new friends. You know, make sure you're putting in an effort to join clubs or sports teams or, or even just, you know, fun classes in your area. Because um, meeting people, new people, is one of the best distractions that you can have. At number five, you know, just focus on your career or your, your school studies. Um, sure, you know, I know it is easy to mope around and feel sorry for yourself at this point, but nothing productive is going to come of that kind of thing. Instead, focusing on things like work and school will have your future self thanking you for it, uh, and your ex might even take notice as well. Number six, you know, download Tinder and just start casually dating. You know, don't be too picky with who you date. Just go out, make friends, and have some fun. Number seven, you know, it is okay to indulge in a little bit of alcohol if that's your thing, uh, but going down that road is unproductive and generally unhealthy. So instead, you know, use your social life as a distraction. And number eight is pick up a new hobby. You know, maybe you've always wanted to take up painting. Well, now is your chance to pick up that easel at the art store. And who knows, you might even meet someone there. And number nine, finally, and most importantly, do not under any circumstances contact your ex. And really, there are no exceptions to this. Um, if, there's, if they're willing to say something as extreme as there's no chance between us, then you can bet that they probably don't want to be talking to you right now. So just leave it at that. Now, of course, guys, this is not an exhaustive list of things to do in a, in a situation like this. So if you feel like your situation is unique, or you really think that your ex didn't mean what they said, uh, then one of your best bets is to hire me as your personal breakup coach. Now, before you get scared or think that it's going to be too pricey, please think again, because for about the price of a cup of coffee a day, you can get me as your email breakup coach. For more info on hiring me as your coach, just head over to breakupbrad.com coaching. That's breakupbrad.com coaching. 
And on that page, you'll find out how my coaching program works and whether or not there's a spot available right now. And by the way, I am almost always full. Uh, so if you do see that there's room available and a slot available right now, then I implore you to sign up right now before it's gone. You're not going to regret it. And you'll be given the guidance that you need to live a happier life and help you move on or get your ex back. Anyways, that is all for today's video. I'll talk to you guys in the comments and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.